here's the uh, this is the driver's side door and I covered the whole inside of it with uh, two inch wide uh, Sullivan tape the kind of tape that you uh, tape boxes when you're shipping stuff and then I I put some uh, duct tape here and there because I thought the uh, the cellophane would sag a little bit in here so I ran some duct tape just for kind of strength but it doesn't matter because uh, the fiberglass resin won't uh, won't stick won't stick to uh, duct tape or to the uh, cellophane tape so this is kind of like this is what it looks like this is what I was thinking on doing with the uh, the expanded metal or the chicken wire but this was much easier so uh, I, I uh, did it with the, the tape and, and you know, I mean you can it doesn't have to be for a door if you're making anything just cover it with tape you know the cellophane or the duct tape and uh, if you're fiberglassing something or you're building something you can use that as a, a release agent you know all right so i'm going to put some fiberglass on it and then i'm going to pull it up let it dry and pull it off and i'll show you okay here's the uh this is three layers of fiberglass on there and uh basically uh, i had to put some some duct tape around the the handle with the window crankles because i didn't want any uh resin leaking down in there and screwing that up but basically what I'm just looking for is just some kind of covering here and then I want to uh, I want to cover it with fabric and maybe even a thin piece of foam under there because this is not really level there's a lot there's some high and low spots in here I don't know if you can make them out but um there's some high and low spots and it's not like perfectly level so I thought if I co cover it with a thin piece of uh, foam that you can get at fabric stores and uh, just glue it in there and then cover that with a, a, a fabric that would pretty much would pretty much hide any imperfections and uh, right up here I just have to cut this out because this is where the door handle inner door handle is going to go and I have to trim the edges, you know. I'll have to uh, come up with some clips or something that I can mount here that'll press into the, the holes in the door. But, uh, I mean, I've already had it off, but it didn't take much to pull this off. I just lifted it out. and uh, That's it. There's the inside. You see, nothing sticks. So I'm just going to... I'll just trim the edges to fit the door. And I got my door, I got my door panel. Put that there for now. And that that's all there is to it. I mean, you know, just it's just it's just tape. You know, it comes right off. So I'll pull all this off now. layers of tape and there's no there's no fiberglass nothing leaks through everything's fine so this is just like you know maybe part one or two of of uh, you know making the making a door panel for it so you know those of you who are thinking about doing it in fiberglass or cardboard or what you know whatever I just I've got so much fiberglass sitting around here so I just decided to do it with that all right, cool.